just checking, double check here. Um, June 17th, Thursday. <laughs> just getting lost in this. It's, it's incredible. Um, before I start anything here, I was going to say um, thanks for all of the, the info that came flying in about Jim Pulte. Um, yeah, I, I had found just the one song uh, from that album on YouTube, and then uh, there was one other site where somebody came in, and there, there, there were two other songs on that. Uh, but there was other music of his that people were going, well, there's this other album here, and there's all this. The essence of what I do on this channel is I only play songs that I've worked on. That's the common thread through every, every post I've put up at this point during this time. Uh, if I didn't, I think the only time I did anything um, other than one that I did is I think when I did Rubber Band Man by the Spinners because I so adored Bob Babbitt's bass part on that. But I absolutely thank everybody for, man, just coming up with so much information and getting back uh, to me on that. And I went back and checked some things. And it's cool. He was really a fine artist. I'm sorry. was so sorry to hear he was gone. Uh, I lost another friend. Just I just got notified yesterday that Doug Dragon had passed away. Now, in the late 60s, I was in a band called Little John Farm. Uh, we were just like a kick-ass rock blues band. Uh, Steve Auberg was the guitarist singer in the group and just one of the most badass cats I ever worked with and um, played a telly and a twin, nothing in between, and smoked it. And he passed away a number of years ago. I, I think it was liver cancer that took him out. And, but, and then the other two guys in the band were Dennis Dragon and Doug Dragon. Now, they're part of the, the Dragon dynasty. Uh, their father, Carmen Dragon, uh, was a gifted, he was, a, I think, the conductor of the Glendale Symphony Orchestra and was involved in lots of stuff in the L.A. scene. He was a, a big hitter, Carmen Dragon. Um, and Dennis was our drummer in the group, and he started a group, Surf Punks, um, which was like a, a, just a total punk version of, of a surf band. And they were great. They were really, you know, a big local group. And but they also had worked with the Beach Boys and stuff. So, and Doug played B three in the group. And a number of years ago, I heard he had moved to Hawaii. I hadn't I hadn't seen the guys in in years, uh, but I know that Dennis died a few years ago, and uh, and now apparently Doug is gone too. And their and their middle brother was Daryl Dragon, who was the captain of Captain and Tennille. And Daryl and I were the two string bass players in the college orchestra at Cal State Northridge. So my involvement with that family was deep. So I was, and you know, and Daryl passed away a couple of years back. So, and they are all good. The Dragon Clan is is gone. So it's it's really sad. But keep you know, I get really positive information all the time, and then there's other times where you just kind of go. Oh God, you know it's just it's heartbreaking the amount of loss that there's been. But uh, but as I was saying at the start of this, uh, thanks for all the Jim Pulte information, and I appreciate on every post I put up. Um, there's certain things that that I may get wrong or just don't know, and other people, uh, other members of the uh, of the family here, they go dig in and they get the information to me, which is great. I really love, you know, having everybody joining in on these things. <clears throat> it was weird this morning. I got up, I was out, it, it's supposed to be hotter than hell again today. So I was out this morning at six o'clock watering um, all the roses and lilacs and uh, just everything that I know is going to be crisped out today. And I finished doing all my watering and I came in and uh, went out to do something and it was pouring rain. <laughs> Go figure, I hear thunder and lightning, and all of a sudden it's raining out. I don't know if it's raining or drizzling now, uh, but it was great for the lawn for a moment and all the trees to get a little blast of, of rain. God, I wish it would go on for, we could use a couple of weeks of this. There's fires are starting to hit and things like that. You know, it would just be nice to uh, get things wet and, and, and satiated. I'll save that one for Scrabble. Um, okay, 
uh, it was fun last night. I was watching, I don't know if any of you have ever checked out Shooting the Shit with Vicky. Vicki Abelson is a dear friend, and she does a, a, a live stream show, uh, interview show. You know, it's she in a one-on-one. -on -one. I've done her show several times. And one of her oldest friends is Steve Postel from the immediate family. They go way back, like 30 years or something. And he was the guest last night. So I, I sat and, and listened to the show and threw some real snarky comments in just to keep things light. Um, so it was fun, fun with that. Uh, we're lining up a you know a bunch of things, sorting out the latter part of the year. But I thought you know I haven't played along with any of the immediate family songs. Now the the last song, uh, the last video um, we put out, um, I believe was uh, three forty five coming through a Steve Postel tune that he has had for a long time, and then we kind of uh, gave it kind of a kick in the butt and and made it an immediate family song. And we did the video, and um, it's a real fun song to play live. Uh, we've done it all the gigs we've done. It's always part of the set. Um, so uh, I, I thought um, I would go ahead and play along with that today. I haven't done it in a while. I've got to start boning up on this as work starts to get closer. I've got a lot of material to get back under my, my fingernails again um, that we haven't played in a long time. Plus, the new album will be coming out, and we're going to... Uh, need to be doing those songs. So, I didn't really need any copious notes today. I am just winging it. I am just being such a complete rebel today. I'll, I'll tell you. I don't know what I'm talking about here. Let's go ahead and play 345 coming through. The Immediate Family.
345 coming through. Hey, it's nice to play that song again. I can't wait to get out and play our whole set. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the songs that's going to be on the album. But uh, just anxious, just anxious at this point. Um, but uh, and a lot of people are commenting, and this, this is this really beautiful new ding wall that I've ended up with, which the difference on this one is it's a three pickup model where my other ones don't have the center pickup on them. And uh, I just love his basses. They're just... Beautiful instruments. Uh, let's see. So kind of that's it. I just wanted to play a little bit today. I found a couple of other things that I'm totally intrigued by. I'll probably will do this one tomorrow. That I found. I was completely forgot about it, but it's such a great um, bunch of people on this album uh, playing along with the artists on this. So I'm gonna probably jump on this one because tomorrow's a real, real busy day. Um, we've, got, we've got our band Zoom and a whole bunch of stuff and a bunch of things I have to take care of during the day. So this one will be a good one to slip in there. Um, I'm just gonna wish everybody a wonderful day today and. Um, I've linked up, I believe I did it correctly, I've linked up the immediate family onto all of my videos um, now. Um, so if anybody wants to check it out, our, our TIFF talks, the immediate family talks where we're getting together, we'll probably do a new one tomorrow uh, where we're just talking about gear and food and all kinds of stuff. Just kind of, just a, it's a fun hang for us. And we've got that up and we've got all our videos and all that. So if you haven't done it yet, it would be wonderful if you'd go and subscribe also to the Immediate Family YouTube channel and also our, um, our presence on all the things, all the other formats, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything. Um, and because uh, we're just trying to build a brand, as they say. And um, it would be fun to have you come and join us on this. Um, I believe, I'm going to double check this, I believe the live stream 
next week is going to be uh, hold on. I think it's uh, I will get this straight I did I didn't mark it down I think it's going to be the 22nd Tuesday um, let's go with that at this moment I'm going to check with Aaron but I think that was what we decided on um, so I'll take care of that and um, other than that, just it's so weird out. I just keep looking outside and it's real gray. Then the sun comes up and it's gray. And then I see some more droplets coming out. What a funny, odd day. Uh, kind of fun when nature just has fun with us. We always think we're in charge of everything. And then nature goes, oh, no, I don't think so. I think you make your plans and then I'll let you know what you're going to do. So uh, so take good care. Have, have, a, have a great day. Um, again, um, also... Thanks again for like all the people that have jumped in just saying, you know, that the the shout outs to all the frontline people uh, who have been working so hard for this past year and a half um, is appreciated. I, I get so many nurses and doctors that write to me, uh, and hospital staff, trash people, um, postal workers, cops, firemen, everybody, you know, sends notes going, thanks for the shout outs on there. So for the few people who think it's, you know, enough is enough already. It, it's not enough till we're all well and healed. And uh, it's going to be a long time for that. Um, even if your local area might be doing great, and like we're doing here in, in California and New York are doing really well and things are opening. I hope they don't screw it up, but they're opening like crazy. And uh, But there's other parts, of, certainly of this country, but in the world that are still suffering dramatically. So this is, I'm not going to stop thinking about these people and putting up my, my shout outs to them until, uh, until they're up to where we're at here, where I live. So take good care and I will see you all tomorrow. I look forward to it. Have a fabulous day. So take care. Bye-bye.